should now know how the cube is numbered, the major key represented by each animal, and the animal assigned to each numbered location in the cube. With the exception of the cat at location zero, all the rest of the animals in the cube represent major keys that have sharps. In this short lesson, you will learn how many sharps there are in each major key that has one or more sharps in its key signature. As amazing as it may seem, you already know all the major keys in music that have sharps. And you also know how many sharps there are in each of those major keys. The secret is in the cube. Let me show you how easy it is. If I ask you, how many sharps are there in the key of C major? Just ask yourself, C, cat, is at what numbered location? You already know that C, cat, is at location zero. That's the answer, zero. C major has zero sharps. It's that simple. Since all the keys in this lesson are major keys, again, I'll just refer to them by their letter without saying major. The giraffe at location one means that the key of G has one sharp. The dog at location two means that the key of D has two sharps. The alligator at location three means that the key of A has three sharps. The elephant at location four means that the key of E has four sharps. The bear at location five means that the key of B has five sharps. The frogs at location six means that the key of F sharp has six sharps. Remember, frog would represent F, but frogs, in the plural, represent F sharp. And last, the cats, at location seven, means that the key of C sharp has seven sharps. Again, remember that cat represents C, and cats represent C sharp. To know how many sharps there are in any key, just visualize its numbered location in the cube. That will automatically give you the number of sharps. Simply by knowing which animal or animals are located in each numbered location in the cube, you automatically know how many sharps there are in each major key that has sharps. For example, if I say, how many sharps are there in the key of A major? You just think A, alligator. That's in location three. A major has three sharps. If I say, how many sharps are there in the key of G major? You think G, giraffe, location one, G major has one sharp. If I say, how many sharps are there in the key of E major? You think E, elephant, location four, so E major has four sharps. This is a remarkably fast way to learn and remember how many sharps there are in any major key that has sharps. If a composition is written in a major key with sharps, you will instantly know in which major key it is written, simply by knowing the number of sharps. For example, if I say, which major key has two sharps? Just think of location two in the cube and see the dog. The answer is D major. With the cube, you instantly know the number of sharps in any key. And when you know the number of sharps, you will know the major key in which it is written. Using the cube, just look at how many sharps there are on the key signature and think of that numbered location in the cube. The first letter of the name of the animal in that location will signify the key in which the composition is written. In the case of the frogs and the cats, being plural, the keys are sharp. Here are three sharps in the key signature. Location three in the cube has an alligator, 
so the composition is written in A major. If there is just one sharp, you know location 1 in the cube has a giraffe, so the composition is written in the key of G major. Please complete the activities for this lesson in your learning guide until you can look at the name of any key and instantly know the number of sharps in that key. Conversely, practice until you can look at the number of sharps in the key signature and instantly know the name of the key. In this course, to score 100% is not good enough. You must also develop speed. That comes with practice. Have fun practicing. This ends this lesson.